Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at the quadratic formula. So if we take a quick overview, the quadratic formula is used when factorising a triromeo, also known as a quadratic equation, is not possible whereby you would get a decimal rather than a whole number. This can apply to functions that are not solvable or functions that contain decimals in your final answer. So sometimes the function is simply not possible. Um, and you will see that in the applications of factorising a triromial or drawn quadratic graphs. You'll see why some of them just don't, are unsolvable. And you may end up with a third as your final answer. So this isn't uncommon. This can add in the topic of thirds as well. So it's something that you, you need to be aware of. So the quadratic formula looks like this. Now, thankfully, you don't have to remember this. You will be given this in the formula sheet. However, we need to know how to use it and what each section means, because there is two important things in this equation. One is the quadratic itself, and there is another hidden feature in here which is quite useful. Now, the values of a, b, and c are what we would call quadratic coefficients, and we get these from the equation that we will be given at the start of the problem. So, the best way of doing this is just to have a look at a quick example. So it's asking us here to solve 3x squared minus 7x minus 4 and give your answer to two decimal places. So first thing we need to do is obtain the values of a, b and c to substitute into the quadratic formula. So this is an equation that I've highlighted the number 3, the minus 7 and the minus 4. Very important that you take into account the sign of these numbers. So the value of a is 3, the value of b is minus 7, and the value of c is minus 4. So I always remember as you go from left to right, and from left to right is a, b, then c. Once you know these three values, it is very simple in terms of you just substitute the values into the quadratic formula. So if we take the quadratic formula, but we have to be careful of the negatives because we have a value of b and a value of c is negative. Now, in the equation, we have negatives here, we have negatives here. So we have to be very careful because we'll have negative, negative 7, plus or minus. This means there is two separate calculations going on. And then minus 7 squared, then minus 4 times 3 times minus 4 divided by 2 times 3. So if we tidy this up, this becomes minus minus 7 becomes plus 7, plus or minus. Now minus 7 squared is 49, positive 49, and then minus 4 times 3 is minus 12, times by minus 4 will give you plus 48. And then that's all divided by 6. So then, because of this plus or minus, what we are saying is there is two separate calculations. So we need to split these apart. And the way that we do that is one of the equations will have a plus, and the other one will contain the minus. Now all we have to do is simplify these to get our decimal answer. Now, if this was a non-calculator paper, this would be a solvable sort. But this one is a calculator question, so you would just fire this all into the calculator, and then you would get 16.85 and minus 2.85 divided by 6, which gives you your final answer of 2.81 and minus 0 0.47. And that's how you would go about solving quadratics using the quadratic formula. However, just a few things to note, that the quadratic equation can be used to solve any trirromial question. However, it's most commonly asked when your, your answer is a decimal or it cannot be solved at all. The quadratic equation contains a discriminant. So this is the b squared minus 4ac. This is the part that is underneath the square root sign. And this is the other part that is very valuable. And I'll add a link in the description to how to use the discriminant because this will give you a hint and a clue 
as to what you can expect your final answer to be. And also some characteristics for drawn quadratic graphs. The discriminant then can tell you if the equation is solvable or not, just what I'd mentioned earlier. So by the value that you get underneath the square root sign, if it is a whole number, it's solvable by the traditional trinomial method. If you get a decimal, it is solvable using the quadratic formula. And if you get a negative value underneath the square root sign, then it is classed as unsolvable. And then if your answer asks you to um, solve the quadratic to either one or two decimal places, that will be your indicator to tell you you must use the quadratic formula. Because if you try and do it manually, the, the normal way, you cannot achieve that very specific answer. It's just not possible. So that is a, an indicator to tell you you must use the quadratic formula. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.